G'day, wonderful people. It is Jack here, and I want to run through this month's bulk haul at Woolworths and Coles for our vegan family of four. I'm actually a little bit embarrassed by this month's bulk haul because it is a lot of junk food in here. I wanted to show you what is actually available for vegans in terms of junk food and treat items. Just because you're a vegan does not mean you miss out on treats. Accidentally, vegan items are all around in Woolies and Coles. I also wanted to let you know that having canned goods that last a long time in your pantry is also a great budget tip as well. But anyway, friends, let's get into this relatively treaty item vegan haul right now. And there may be some surprises in there that you didn't know. So let's go. Well, here it is, friends. Woolworths down here and then Coles down here as well. Got some fresh produce getting delivered in the next couple days. Uh, we get a lot of our produce delivered to us now and that is generally about $50, $60 per a week. But anyway, friends, this is a little bit of a treaty, junk foodie sort of bulk haul. I have been pretty much on top with everything else in terms of pantry items that will last weeks. So tofu was fine, TVP, got heaps of dried legumes and canned legumes as well. Uh, we are set in terms of that. So let's spurge a little bit and have some little junk food items. I just wanted to highlight in this month's haul that you know you can still have treat items as a vegan and you can still keep it well under budget as well. So anyway, we're gonna hit into Woolies. First off, just got a massive one kilo packet of the Sultanas here. So Sultanas, I am mixing them in with my oats in the morning. Uh, this bulk packet will last several months here. This is a nice little supplemental item for the kids and myself. My wife has a different iron supplement with a little bit more iron than these tablets, but these are fantastic for iron. A little bit of B12 in there and vitamin C. So they're just a nice chewable tablet and these go on special all the time. The brioche burger buns, uh, these are fantastic and they like freeze well. There's other vegan burger buns on the market but I find that the fries burger buns freeze incredibly well. If you have not had a burger with a brioche bun, you have not actually ever had a proper burger. I've had a lot of debate with people saying, oh, these aren't vegan friendly. They say on the Woolies website that it contains dairy. Well, that is outdated information on the Woolies website. I actually really don't know why they haven't updated it, but check over here in the ingredients. I believe on the website it says it like has whey or dairy in the ingredients, but as you can see here, nothing is in here anymore. So they've actually updated their recipe probably maybe about two years ago now, and it is now vegan friendly. So just be mindful that the Woolies website is actually incorrect and it is dairy free and vegan friendly as well. So these choc raspberry cookers are fantastic and the other cookers out on the market are vegan friendly as well. Over here, we've just got five liters of the soy milk. Uh, soy milk is fantastic. I find it probably one of the creamiest plant milks out on the market. And the Woolies soy milk is fantastic and so is the Vita Soy Kelsey Plus. I find Vita Soy would probably be the best branded plant milk on the market in comparison to all the others. And the fact that these are fortified as well is also very, very helpful for vegans. So the majority of soy milks on the market are fortified with B12, vitamin D and calcium. So a fantastic way to get your calcium, B12, vitamin D as well. And then the Kelsey Plus just has a little bit more extra calcium if you're searching for a higher calcium soy milk. Just some Smith's Originals. Like I said, this is our snack game haul. Got some barbecue shapes here. I went through it last month, but this is vegan friendly. A lot of people don't know about it. Uh, they kind of get turned off by the ingredients, but all the ingredients in the barbecue shapes are vegan friendly. So that is another snack you can add. If you've been watching me for a little while now, you know that I love the fact that these Allen's jelly beans are now vegan friendly. Look at that. 
I have been getting probably one of these packet once a month. Maybe this obsession with jelly beans will eventually die off, but at the moment, I am enjoying having vegan friendly jelly beans again, so this is great. Licorice from Dara Lee, majority of it is vegan friendly. They have some like chocolate covered licorice, which isn't vegan friendly, but up here it says it is plant based. So palm oil free as well, which is fantastic for a lot of people looking for that. So if you did not know, the majority of the Dara Lee range is vegan friendly. So what I have been loving at the moment is just making Brinner. So if you've never heard of Brinner before, it is breakfast for dinner and it is the fantastic combination. So I'm going to be making up some tofu scramble, adding in like a bowl of other items. So you've got some hash browns, I might do some asparagus, I might do some like garlic, buttered spinach. It is gonna be fantastic, but we have been loving Brenner lately. Actually brings me to this one over here. My kids have never had baked beans. So I got a can of baked beans and try it on the kids uh, when I do Brenner as well. See if they love baked beans. Baked beans for me as a student back in the day was a staple. Beans on toast, you do like in one of those Jaffa irons as well. Um, baked beans. New exposure for the kids, unreal. They are seven and pretty much six and they've never had back pains. I am questioning my parenting skills right there. You just got some V2 classic British sausages. For me personally, the V2 range of sausages are by far the best out on the market. These classic British ones are full of flavor, fantastic, great texture, and the kids love them. So that is always a winner there. Meliora uh, plant-based ham, two packets of those, the best deli slice out on the market by far. There's been a few new deli slices coming out and they honestly do not compare in terms of taste and texture as this brand right here. So just two packets there, that'll last us hopefully a little, little bit over a month there. Vita soy Greek style yogurt, creamy, delicious, and actually really fantastic for you as well. So high in protein, uh, source of calcium, uh, nutritionally, it is very, very good. So the kids have been having that in their lunchbox. Uh, what I've been doing in their lunchbox is just a couple of tablespoons of this, a little bit of hemp seeds, and they are loving it. Sometimes when they are on special, I do bulk up purchase on those. The mock meat items here, just the plantain, plant-based schnitzels, unreal size. These are fantastic, decent size. A lot of other mock meat schnitzels on the market are pretty tiny in my opinion, but check out the size of that snitty. Um, that is fantastic. So two in a packet. Generally just do Palmer's once a month. So we've got them there. Dairy free up and goes. These are just so convenient and fantastic uh, for the kids. The kids are doing a lot more sports now after school and they are you know, hungry after school and hungry after sports practice. So this is just a really fantastic snack to grab and go. These are honestly so spot on. I really do actually hope that up and go maybe do eventually have a higher protein option of these as well. But at the moment they do have the vanilla and chocolate up and goes dairy free, which is great. Uh, just three cans of the tomato paste, talking about bulking up on your tin stuff is always fantastic. So these will probably last us maybe a month or two here, depending how many I've actually still got in the pantry. And then over here, the same with the coconut milk, two cans here. I'm pretty sure I've still got another can in the pantry as well, but always, Great to bulk purchase on these, just to make sure you've got some in the pantry ready to go when you need to make a delicious and creamy sauce. Another bulk item snack here that will last several months. This is just, again, another quick, easy option for the kids or ourselves if we're, you know, can't be bothered making anything too fancy. But the two minute noodles, chicken flavor, is actually vegan friendly. So this is fantastic to have just this as an option. So there we go, friends, that is Woolies. It does not seem like much. Uh, it seems like a lot of junk food, but I just wanted to show you what can be purchased as treats as a vegan in Woolies. Um, let's move on to Coles now, where I have got some 4 and 20 pies. They didn't actually have the four pack of 4 and 20 pies in Woolies, but if you did not know, Coles have access to the single pies in the freezer section. Still worked out more expensive 
then the four pack, but still good to know that they have the singular pies as an option for people looking for those as well. Vegan croissants, if you did not know, vegan croissants are available in the bakery section in Coles. They are just located with the other non-vegan croissants as well, but they are so spot on and fantastic and really affordable as well. It is unreal how affordable they are. Just a couple freezer items, quick snacks for the kids. So we've got the fries, schnitzels here. I actually do slice these up and put them in the lunchbox sometimes. And the same with the stars and moons. Uh, these are like little nuggets. Unfortunately, I feel like a lot of vegan nuggets actually aren't available anymore. Coles, plant-based nuggets are gone. The Aldi nuggets are gone. The Plantitude nuggets are gone. I really do not know what's going on. I feel like a lot of vegan items are disappearing off the shelf lately and not getting replaced. So it is a little bit disappointing that we don't really have a vegan nugget option anymore. So that is really sad. But we've got some stars and moons which are <laughs> a great alternative at the moment. Two packets of the Nature's Kitchen cheddar style slices here. If you've been watching my videos, you will know by now that this is my favorite vegan cheese range. Affordable, $6 each, a lot more affordable than other options on the market. And the melt and the flavor is fantastic. I highly recommend these. Over here as well, just two packets of the grated as well. One kilo tub of the hummus. Kids have been loving getting like their baby cucumbers and some carrots and just whacking them straight into the tub of hummus. And you know, we're getting through one tub of the hummus probably every two weeks at the moment. It is unreal. I am not sad by that. That is fantastic. The kids are loving hummus. So there we go, friends, a relatively small haul from Coles, about $50. And then Woolies over here, about $150. So about $200 all up, fantastic, a lot of treats. A lot of bulk items that we're gonna bulk up on that will last a couple months. But again, I really hope this gives you a little bit of an insight of what we are buying and gives you some ideas of what is actually vegan friendly that you may not have realized. So I hope you enjoyed this month's grocery haul at Woolies and Coles. So there we go, friends. It is our treat bulk haul this month. Thankfully, I have been pretty smart with our shopping in recent weeks, stocking up on bulk items that will last several weeks in the pantry. It is tough at the moment with prices constantly going up in the grocery stores. If you are mindful of having a bulk items that will last a while, you can definitely save a bit of money and then you have time to have one of those treat bulk hauls like I just showed you. But anyway, friends, I really hope you found some great items in there that you may not have realized is actually vegan friendly. Anyway, friends, if you enjoyed this bulk haul, definitely watch last month's Woolies and Coles bulk haul as well, giving you even more great ideas in the shops. But anyway, friends, until next time, I will catch you very, very soon.